I mentioned before there was uh, the Green Arrow comic book, and then there's also the Arrow comic book that's based on the show Arrow. So there's, there's like a prequel comic book series, I, I believe it's still gone going, that happens prior to season three. And there's a, a couple important uh, things that happen. Um, most notably, Bronze Tiger gets killed off. Yeah, speaking of underutilized League of Assassins characters, Bronze Tiger gets killed off off screen. Um, and I guess from what I heard was that um, Michael Jai White, who portrays Bronze Tiger, I guess he was in the middle of um, shooting a movie when they were going to potentially use him again. So they decided to kill him off off screen. Which is too bad because it actually seemed like that actor was pretty open and enthusiastic about portraying that character. And he was only in like three episodes of the second season and he's really underutilized. And um, Huntress gets some kind of redemption of some sort. And none of this is going to be shown on screen apparently because from what I've heard i don't know if this is exactly true but the, i guess the producers were saying that what they put in the arrow season 2.5 comic book series was stuff that they weren't going to be able to fit into the third season right because there's so much stuff in that third season that was absolutely essential and we'll get to that when we talk about the the episodes my whole attitude about stuff like that is like you shouldn't have to read or you know in case of books or watch another show or uh, play a video game or, or whatever you shouldn't have to go to supplementary material to understand what's happening in the main show I mean, that's like the, the fucking Star Wars prequels where in episode one I think throughout the whole trilo- the prequel trilogy there, they never tell you what the, the fucking f- Trade Federation is. I mean, wouldn't that... Wouldn't you need to know that for, like, episode one anyway? They never actually tell you what a Sith is. <laughs> Hello? I mean, not all of us are, are fucking reading all this expanded universe supplementary material. It, it's also... It's like... if. In order to understand uh, Avengers Age of Ultron, I have to watch the fucking Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. TV show. It, you know, it, it's it's stupid. Just a bad idea. Like, you shouldn't have to do that. Because the minority of people are reading the fucking Arrow Season 2.5 comic. Versus the show. Like, very small percentage of them are reading that comic book. So, lame. It would be fine. If it just uh, filled in some stuff, but don't make it like es- like essential to understand what's going on in the main show. I mean, especially like the Huntress thing. Like w- when she shows back up on the show, what was she just gonna be? Uh, everything gonna be hunky dory between her and the good guys? So getting back to the the Roy thing, the the point is, it's an example of um, telling and not showing. Like, there needed to be some kind of scene. Maybe that episode, maybe the flashbacks, instead of being the useless Hong Kong shit, maybe they should have focused on the Oliver Roy re- relationship. You know, it's like we needed something. Otherwise, it just seems forced. Otherwise, it just seems out of nowhere. <laughs> and speaking of no- out of nowhere... Okay, so... At the... Um, I think it's the episode, uh, it's titled Guilty, I think it's episode, shit, um, six? I want to say it's episode six, but anyway, we're definitely going to get over, talk about when we talk about the episodes, go over the episodes. Um, at the end, um, Oliver christens, uh, Roy Arsenal. Because the villain of that episode used to be um, the, um, the, the um, 
What's his name? Wildcat, yeah. Wildcat. Wildcat's um, partner. And he said something, the, the Wildcat's partner said something about being a weapon in Wildcat's arsenal. So, Oliver thought then that maybe that's what they should call him. Arsenal. And, okay. Um, and even Stephen Amell admitted that he choked on the dialogue when saying that line. Maybe we should call you Arsenal. And you can hear it too. It sounds so lame. It's like an actor in a bad movie reading crappy dialogue. That's what it sounded like. And, and no asshole. They shouldn't be calling him fucking Arsenal. Because who, who gives a fuck? Like, why call him Arsenal? You should be calling him fucking Red Arrow. Cause, cause even going back, remember when I said, like, like I can't wait to see how we get this guy to the point where he's Oliver's sidekick, you know, way back in the end of season one? How I imagined that they would get the Green Arrow name on Oliver is that they would have one archer guy going around being called the Arrow. He dresses up in green. And suddenly, there'd be another archer going around, dressed up in red. So everyone would just start calling him Red Arrow, they call, and then they call Oliver Green Arrow because he's in fucking green. Right? But no, we can't do that, because first of all, it makes way too much fucking sense. But second of all, we, we can't do the, do, um, the thing where they, anyone calls him Green Arrow yet. We're still doing the Mike Grell thing where no one calls him Green Arrow. Because he hasn't earned it yet. We have to wait till the end of that five-year origin. So now we have this forced contrivance where they call him Arsenal for no real good reason. Okay, so what I would have done instead, if you wanted to do the thing where they can't call Green Arrow Green Arrow yet, then what you should have done was fucking... <laughs> What I would have done is hold off on him being a full-blown superhero. You know, Roy, that is. Hold off. I mean, obviously, it's it's just stupid for the guy. Six months of, of fucking um, hanging around with Oliver, and suddenly, oh, well, he's full-blown member of the team. He's Master Archer. When, not to mention that... His initial archery training, supposedly he was supposed to have forgotten, but then he didn't forget it, and then it's never really cleared up why. Just, you know, big oversight by the writers. I mean, that's all I can think of. Or, if you're going to insist on making him a full-blown full master archer member of the team, then you should have did it so Roy... Wasn't wearing red all the time. And, yeah. It, they, with Roy, they did the fucking Smallville thing where the characters were already wearing their superhero colors back when they were still just civilians. So their civilian outfits, they would just, you know, wear the colors they were famous for having in their superhero costumes. So Roy would always wear this, like, red hoodie. So eventually he would have a red jack and everything red get up so just i don't know, just wear black like typical black i guess or, or something right and then eventually have them switch over the, the red and then do the red arrow green arrow thing <sighs> but of course again that that would make up to that'd be too make too much sense for these people and, and it's weird because it seems like they have certain things planned but other things just seem like spontaneous. I don't get it with these writers and producers. So, um, also, I get in that episode, there's this uh, running plot where um, Roy is having these bad dreams where he thinks he's the one who uh, killed Sarah. And um, it's kind of weird because they show the dreams that Roy's having. There's a couple, like, 
things obviously wrong. Because first of all, they when they first saw the 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 scene where Sarah gets killed, um, you see it from the the killer's point of view. Like, but we don't see who's doing it. And Sarah's like, "What are you doing here?" And then suddenly she gets some arrows thrown into her and she gets killed. So Roy sees this too, meaning he would have to be there. Either he would definitely have to be the killer, or he would at least have to be there when she's getting killed. Another thing too, even though this is this dream, it would be from Roy's point of view. Remember, if it was some kind of memory, it would be from Roy's point of view. But yet it's shown the camera is not from... Roy's point of view, we see Roy throwing arrows at Sarah, meaning it's from someone else's point of view. But yet it's supposed to be a memory of Roy's. Doesn't make sense. And it's lame. It's fucking lame. Like, someone should have thought of that before they shot that scene. And, and of course, the reason why we see the the quick scene where Sarah's like, who are you? And we see it from the killer's point of view is to, is to fucking fool the audience. To make, you know, a red herring. To make us actually think Roy did it. Lame. So, yeah. So it turns out that Roy wasn't the one that killed Sarah. Killed, quote-unquote, killed Sarah. But... Again, purposes of the video, we're going to say she actually died. And, um, what, I guess what happened really is that, I guess Roy was having side effects of the Mirakuru, and, you know, again, the, the crazy memory bullshit. And what he was really remembering was that when he killed the, the police officer guy, Sarah was there watching him do it. And somehow that got confused in his brain in some kind of weird nightmare dream thing to be that he's the one that killed Sarah. Which is bordering on cheesy and hokey and forced drama, but you know what? I guess I can give him a pass on that. I'll give him a pass. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt on that. Um, so... Yeah, and that's all that character really does for the first nine episodes there. Uh, that, and he does a lot of unnecessary flipping around stuff. Like cheesy acrobatic crap, I don't get that. Um, yeah, and that's really it. I guess she, oh yeah, I guess he kind of rec reconciles with uh, Thea, I guess. Cause the two of them break up at the end of season two. Um, because, you know, first of the Miracru shit, and he starts acting all weird around her, and, uh, then later on, um, Roy says he's gonna leave Starling City with her, but then he goes and joins to fight, uh, to fight with Oliver and everyone, uh, to fight the Miracru soldiers and stuff, and, uh, she finds out that you know, that's what he was doing, and so whatever. She she breaks up with him, but I guess they they find Thea later this season. We'll get into that in the next video, and they kind of they kind of make up a, a bit, though they're not back together. So next video, we got one more character to go over, then finally we're to get to the actual episodes themselves.